So why did I say that I had an issue with psychotherapy? Hey guys, it's John here, and uh, I got a comment the other day that I want to respond to. So, so it's an actual very nice and very very respectful comment, and I completely appreciate the way it's delivered. You know, I I have uh, often had people come on who completely believe you know something different than I, and uh, if they are if they are kind, if they are considerate, then I completely respect that. It's when they get mad and angry and they try to throw things in my face. But this, this gentleman, I think I assume it's a gentleman. I could be wrong. The Living Tombstone. Um, I, I could be a, I, I'm not sure who it is, but um, I completely respect the way this was delivered. So I want to thank you for that, that, uh, that respect. So let me, uh, let me read the comment. Hi, John. I lo- like listening to your talks, and I appreciate your openness and clarity. However, I wonder about your point of view concerning psychotherapy. I worked as a psychotherapist myself, often working with severely traumatized patients. And as I see it, it is part of the process that people understand that it is not the past, but only the present time that is most important of how they live today. Psychotherapists follow so many different paradigms, and certainly there are schools that are fixated on the past, but others are not at all. But on the contrary... When you say that psychotherapy per se does a lot of damage, it may be misleading. Absolutely. If you're focused on getting them in the present, absolutely. Problem that I have with, with the psychotherapy that I've dealt with, and because I've been doing private sessions with individuals now um, since I came back for a solid couple of years now, but prior, I had done it for over a decade working with individuals. And... I know people today who are still fixated on their past because the psychotherapist keeps dredging it up. Um, there is a lot of psychotherapy out there that always talks about, well, your mother did this, and that's because of your mother, and that's because of your father, because of your, your experience in this. And, your, and, and they're always talking about the past. And the more you stay focused on, on the past in general or the trauma, traumatized patient, pa- patients, you know, if you stay focused on the traumas, you're going to be reliving the traumas. If you're focused on releasing the trauma and and saying, okay, well, that was that part of my life, and now I'm moving forward, and this, what am I creating now? Then, then, you, then I think you're making real change. But as long as you're continually focused on the trauma and what's happened in their past and all those things, I don't think you're, you're actually helping. I, I truly believe that, you know, now if you are, as you say, focused on being here in the present and doing things from this point forward, great. I completely respect that. I unfortunately have not had a lot of experience with psychotherapists who have done that. Most of them are always focused on the trauma and and the past experiences and the individuals who have traumatized. And all that does is, you know, the, the one th- word that's in here that stands out to me, part of is the word process. I cannot tell you how many people who talk about, well, I'm, I'm processing this, or I am working on this. I am, you know, I'm getting over this, right? All three of those sentences starts with the word I am, which means in their present moment, that's all they're doing. And so I'll ask them, how, how long do you want to work on it? How long do you want to process it? How, how long do you want to um, go, through, go through your process? Because it comes down to you. Now, in the, in the Bible, it says you must be born again. And it says you must become as a child to enter the kingdom of heaven. Becoming born again and being a child is going back to a place be, of no belief. It's going back to a place that has releases the past, releases the trauma. Um, Joshua himself said, be here today. Well, be here today isn't focused on the traumas of the past. Now, traumatized patients. I came from an alcoholic abusing father and I was the one kid in the family who still today goes home and I'm just it's 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 a weird dynamic with my brothers and sisters. When I look at my past I can look back and say and I very rarely ever look back but 
I look back now and I go, okay, oh, thank God for him. Thank God that he treated me the way he did, that he drugged me out of my, the house by my hair. You know, you know th thank God because I had such growth in my own independence because of that situation. Um, I know other people who had very similar experiences to mine who are still declaring in their present moment that they're a victim of their trauma, that they're a victim of their past, that they're a victim of their abuser. Still to this day, they're focused on that. And when I talk to them, it's because their psychotherapist keeps taking them there. Um, do I think all psychotherapy is bad? No. If it's focused on the here and now and going forward, great. But if it's focused at all on that trauma and the victimhood of the past, then I think it can be very, very, very detrimental. Um, that's not to say that there aren't good, pe good people who are psychotherapists. I think to become a psychotherapist itself means you are a good person. And I mean, because you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart to help people. That's what that whole, that whole um, career is, is, is the attempt to help people. I just think there's a mis misconception that uh, going back into the past and trying to fix things or, or overcome the traumas in that way is as helpful as, as, as people think it is. Because for me, it ha I had to cut those ropes. I had to say that's a period at the end of that chapter where I'm running a new joyful life. But I could not cut those ropes or start writing that new chapter if I kept going back to edit the, the chapters behind me. There's nothing changeable back there. The, the key is to move forward and release back there. Nothing's changing back there. And I, I can't tell you how many people also I deal with who their victim nature has not only gone from what's happened in this life, but many of them are now saying, well, well, in a past life, this is why I'm, this, is, this happened, and so now I'm doing this, right? I don't care how far back, if it's past lives or not, if you're looking backwards, you're going to have a, a real struggle going forward. Robin Williams once said, <laughs> he said, uh, he says, you don't look back if you want to go forward or you just run into a tree. And unfortunately, and I, I don't have a disdain for psychotherapists in, in any way, shape, or form. As I said, I think they're very caring people. I think the science itself is misguided in most cases. Um, I, haven't, you're, I haven't heard any psychotherapist who says that understand that it's not their past, but it's their present time that's important how they live today. You know, you're the first one I've heard say that. And I've talked to lots of psychotherapists over the years who, who don't like what I talk about psychotherapy. I don't think psychotherapy is a bad thing, but if it's not leading to people believing that they're, that they're well because they're constantly dredging up the past. And I, I know someone today who, who literally it has been just a victim of her past her entire life because she's gone from therapist to therapist to therapist to therapist. And she says, oh, it help, helps me so much. It helps me so much. And then you talk to her, and, she, and she, every so often there's another breakthrough, another crying session, another this, another that. She's just dredging up the past. And so, I don't know, when I, I, I respect you and I respect the way you were so respectful in talking to me. I, I have a different understanding about psychotherapy than a psychotherapist would, of course. Um, and I'm only speaking from my experience in working with people for, since the year 2000. You know, for 20-some-odd years, my experience has not been a predominantly good one with, with psychotherapy, let me put it that way. I hope that answers your question. And um, I, uh, I, like I said, I respect you and I respect your, your beliefs. Um, I can only go from my perspective and, and my own personal experiences. And so uh, I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question. You have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.